hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before my name is amy and today i'm doing like a depop come shopping with me slash try on but i do like buying the odd vintage bit i find on depop and i really fancy getting some more things so i thought why not take you with me i'll sort of show you what i look for um what i fancy buying and then get some bits and when they come i'll show you them and style them up and try them on i actually have quite a few bits i've bought over this summer so i'll get those out as well and show you them but yeah this is my depop i follow lots of various vintage sellers already there's literally millions to choose between and i've gone and liked a load of items i already have found that i quite fancy the look of and i've also bought is it oh uh, yeah this morning i bought this vintage well it says vintage i don't know how old it is but um a north face jacket and <laughs> i just had to buy it quickly because it looked so up my street this is something that i love to just cover up in the winter really warm like very mensy very outdoorsy but like really practical and i think they're really cool i love outdoorsy style jackets um and this one's right up my street i have a north face one um from last winter that my boyfriend has actually stolen so um i wanted to get another one now i don't know if you're looking at this north face jacket thinking ew why does she want some like big granddad jacket but honestly granddad stuff is my style no i'll definitely style it up with like nice trainers even maybe some like leather trousers very casual item that you can make look cute i think and it is super practical i'm really excited for this to come another outdoorsy brand that i love looking for vintage stuff for is patagonia so i have a patagonia jacket and um, that i bought off depop and it's a bit like this one but this one as you can see is 420 pound why why is it so expensive i don't know how much they are new because my one was pretty new and it was just under 100 it was exactly like this one like this jack from depart literally has um he collects them there's millions that one is really nice but again 420 pounds it's literally on his patio <laughs> anyway those are amazing jackets my one looks more like this one i will show you and again i did not pay 210 pound so i don't know what's going on there and my one's quite new but anyway moving on another less manly granddaddy thing that i bought recently was this silk sort of headscarf um i'm just waiting for it to come but i went for this brownie um patterned color because i really want to try it and wear it as like a headscarf so we'll see what i look like with it on when it comes i might look horrendous and completely regret my life choices so we'll see okay next depop is a great place for vintage sportswear that is my top thing to buy on there and especially vintage sportswear sweaters so these are my sort of liked items i really loved the look of this sweater i love the font of the pen charter and the little hockey sticks i think are so cute but i'm pretty sure it's like a school Penn Charterfield Hockey, Pennsylvania. So I thought that was like a little bit weird if I wore that, but I, I really like looking at the logos and stuff and I think that one especially was really cool. Oh, I really want this t-shirt, but it's 36 pound and I feel like that's quite expensive. <laughs> I think I might message them, but that to me looks so 80s, just like that graphic and the colors and stuff like that. So this Billy's Retro also has this PC, PNC Bank sweater um and i looked up pnc bank and it is like a um pennsylvania bank i don't know i thought i think that's quite cool um really random but i think that's quite cool dorset and company that's quite cool as well what size is that one XL. yeah i quite like that i quite like that one dorsey i think we're gonna have to google that so apparently this Dorsey and Company is like a wealth management company. Um, I think that sounds quite cool, don't you? <laughs> I feel like it might help me manifest my wealth wearing this. I might get that one. Either the Dorsey and Company one or the PNC Bank one. I'll quickly go through some other sweaters I like the look of. This Chrysler one, that's an XL and it looks really long. Um, it's a great idea to get the measurements of like armpit to armpit. 
um, and then compare them to your own sweaters to figure out what size pieces are. Another thing I've been looking for is fleece pullovers. I bought a Nautica one, which I'll show you that I love, 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 love. Um, but yeah, fleece pullovers. This one is a Patagonia one and it is only £45, which I'm actually quite tempted by, but it does look a little bit like rough. I love this YSL one. Oh my God, if it wasn't £265, I would have that. That is way too expensive. What would I pay for that? I don't know, but not £265, but I do really like it and it's a large. Anyway, another cool thing I've seen people like pulling off are these sort of like racing style jackets. Um, I'm not sure I would have to find the right one and I feel like they can get quite expensive the cooler they are. Yeah, 110 pounds like too much for me, I think. See, I like this one that says tennis, but then it says Thomas Jefferson High School. Like, I can't walk around wearing a jumper that says high school and I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> Chapin Huskies. Oh, I bet you that is a team though, not a <laughs> team of huskies like I'm imagining. Um, what else we got? Wake Forest. This sort of like college style lettering is really in. Well, they have some good stuff, this Belly's Retro. But that, it looks a little bit skanked, doesn't it? Mm. Is, a, is a size large though, which is nice. Why are these so expensive? Oh my god. What else we got? I actually really like the logo on this sweater, but it is sheep and wool growers. Um, so, yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, you really get some random stuff, but you do get some like quite cool and different stuff on here. What's this? Oh, I like these oversized quilt lined flannel jackets these are actually really cool um yeah they've sort of got quilting in i actually have one from last year that i can show you i do really like but it's like a little bit um skanked like you know when things are just getting a little bit like rough around the edges this one's really nice about 22 pound vintage padded quilted flannel shirt size large Another thing that is quite cool to look out for is vintage leather jackets. I try not to buy leather brand new, especially if there's a jacket or something like that, but um, I do have a vintage leather one that I really like that I got in a charity shop for like a couple of quid. Um, and it looks a bit like this one actually, whereas she's selling that for £95. That is huge on her, but it looks quite cool in the first picture. Um, I have had a look through here for like a leather jacket that I might quite fancy, but the only one I fancy is this one. Oh, it's £80, it's not bad. Mm, I think it might be. Yes, original Burberry. Mm. Anyway, vintage leather jackets will definitely be something to look out for. Um, let's try and look for vintage t-shirts. Oh, I really wanted this one as well. How cool is that? And that's only £15, much better price. What? Keep my family in stitches. <laughs> oh my god, that's is it meant to be funny? That is quite. That is. It's not funny, but it is quite funny. <laughs> what the fuck? On Depop at the moment, Nike, like vintage style Nike spell out jumpers, are just crazy expensive. Like this one is seventy four pounds and. Not even that nice, but let's look at this one. Okay, 50 pounds, that's not that bad. What is this one? 120 pound, oh my gosh. Like Nike just needs to bring out a new version of these jumpers and they would rake it in. That is 110 pounds, oh my gosh. So expensive, it's nice though. 170 pounds for this Nike sweatshirt that is so faded. That is crazy. They have gone so expensive at the moment. They're just like the thing at the minute and I'm sure not long until night clocks on and they will bring out like a whole new range of night spell out jumpers. Um, oh look, 225 pounds. Oh my gosh. I bet you there's fakes of these going around as well. 
But that one can be a fake. Oh, oh my god, it's got stains all over it. Oh my god, it is like ripped. Okay, that was a little flick around Depop, show you what I look at. So now I've got to order some things and next in the video I am going to try them on and style them up for you. Okay, so it's a few days later and I ended up ordering about four or five pieces and they've all come and so I'm going to show you what I picked up and style them up and try them on for you too. But first I wanted to talk about this t-shirt. Okay, I got this a bit earlier in the summer. But I just love, love, love it so much. Um, it's sort of like a vintage sports t-shirt. It's really got quite a worn look to it. It's definitely been through the wash like plenty of times. And it says Tulsa Run 83. So obviously I'm guessing it's American Tulsa. But what I especially love about it is the graphic font. Like it's such a cool design of its era, of its time. It has very vintage vibes to it, this sort of running figure. I just, I think the the graphic and the font of it is so cool and beautiful. And it's something that you would use for inspiration for designing um, clothes that are coming out today. It's quite small actually. Uh, like it's not a super oversized t-shirt. I usually would go for really oversized and I, I actually really like that about it. I think I paid around 20 pound for this t-shirt, which Seems a lot when you're buying an old t-shirt, but for me, you're supporting small businesses. It's a really cool t-shirt, something a bit different, and uh, so I see £20 as like quite a bargain. So yeah, that is my Tulsa tea. Okay, on to pieces I actually ordered a few days ago. Okay, next up, one of the things that I bought the other day. This is my silk brown scarf that I got. I wanted to style it as a sort of headscarf and I posted a picture on Instagram the other day and I just love the look of it. It, it. Like it works for autumn. I know it's a very summer look having the whole headscarf thing but um, I, I really like it. High end designers like Jacquemus have been using headscarves in their looks. I like a bit of experimenting with hair headpieces. You can also wear it as a top to just tie it round like that. It's a really cute holiday summer look and um, quite a fashionable kind of look. I bought this for £12, I think. Oh, do you know what I picked up? I think I might have talked about in the in the video is this sweater, okay? It is the Dorsey & Company Strategic Consultants to Management sweater, right? And it was advertised as an XL and it is an XL, it is huge huge it's so big i think it's really really cool i i like that it is just really minimal black and it's just got that sort of dark gray logo on it i i quite like knowing what is behind this company the fact it's like a money consultant company also because i am so not a part of like a corporate world i don't know i think that's I don't know, it's quite fun. This will be great for styling, for throwing over things in the winter, in the autumn. Um, but also, this is the kind of thing I love to snuggle like, up in when I'm at home. I really like the dark grey logo. It just lifts it from being like complete black boring. And also it's not too like in your face, some random company that you've never heard of. Um, yeah, I am proper chuffed with this jumper. I got it from Billy's Retro and I really like the stuff that they select and have on their store i'll link it below um i have got a lot of stuff from them so i paid 20 pounds for this sweater and yeah i think that's amazing okay next up i'm not sure this necessarily counts as vintage but it is the north face jacket i picked up i paid 35 pounds for this and i got it in an extra large i mean i know north face jackets can be like and fleeces can be like 100 pound plus. This is just like a really practical like dad jacket. It's like a dog walking jacket or like a hiking jacket. But I really, I, I quite like the whole hiking outdoorsy vibes. And this is something that um, I would definitely like throw over, th throw on if I was going to like the studio, just like pop into the shops or something like that. It's just like really cozy. Mm. Um, I'm quite into the whole like hiking vibe look just outdoorsy sportswear and menswear and things like that and like i don't just wear complete granddad outfits i would style it with like you know i'd make sure i have cute hair like maybe maybe my prada bag some cute trainers um maybe even some like leather trousers that sort of thing i also really i am a 
freezing cold person in the winter and I love wearing things that are super cozy. Um, I think a lot of the time I dress to make myself feel a certain way and make me feel happy and cozy and yeah this is just the type of thing that I like to wear. I think you're also getting a lot of these sort of very parka, raincoat, cargo style um, jackets coming into like mainstream fashion at the moment. Very practical meets fashion jackets. I think this sort of falls under that category. I'm actually not crazy about the condition it came in. It just does seem a little bit more worn than they said, but I did like wash, give it a good wash immediately as soon as they came in. It's also got a hole in one of the pockets. So yeah, that's a bit annoying and something to be aware of when you're buying things from Depop. Another t-shirt, this one's a lot bigger. It is an XL, and but it comes up really nice and boxy and boyish. It is the exercise tee, very 80s style with these sort of like female figures. Yeah, I think it's super cool. It's just a throw on nice size t-shirt. It's sort of like a t-shirt that will last forever. Um, it's got definitely got like vibes of <laughs> invincible t-shirt. Is it 100% cotton? Yeah, it's 100% cotton. It's got like a lot of life left in it. It's still really white and crisp compared to this one that's gone a bit grey. This type of thing that you can pick up on Depop and secondhand places that's just like a little bit different and really cool. And yeah, makes your outfit a bit more exciting. I think I just wear this really casually. Yeah, with a pair of jeans or joggers or yeah. Oh, here's another one that I want to show you that I got, uh, I got in the summer bought a fleece in the summer, typical me. So it is a Nautica Athletic fleece. I can't remember how much I've paid for it, but it is in a size XL and it is so, so cozy. I love, love wearing this. It's a really nice shape. I like this gray color. I think Nautica is like a sort of classic, I wanna say it's a sailing sports brand, but I could be wrong. Um, one thing about this fleece is that it doesn't have pockets which is really annoying. It's like borderline a jacket really. I actually think this shape as well and this sort of fleece is gonna be big for the upcoming season in autumn, winter. Okay, this next one, you might be like, Amy, what are you thinking? Um, but I actually got it for going out, walking the dogs when it's raining. I don't have a good like rain jacket and I thought, do you know what, I'm just gonna pick one up. I think I got it pretty cheap, 20 pound. Yeah, and it is a vintage kappa jacket, okay. <laughs> When it came, I was like, um, what? But actually, I've tried it on. It's actually like a really nice shape and fit and it's perfect for me, like walking the dogs. Just something to like chock on that is sort of semi rain proof. What I'm not sure about is like this color, plastic weird sleeve stuff. I think that's the one thing that I don't like. Otherwise, like I quite like the old Kappa logo. And um, yeah, it's quite a good shape on me. It's a bit like Roadman, is that what you call it? Um, it's a bit cool. I could do that like TikTok challenge wearing it. You know, it's got pockets. Um, I stuck it in the wash as soon as I got it. Oh yeah, this, this is another thing that put me off. <laughs> the fact that it has um, a tag for your name and address. I was like, is this a child's jacket? I mean, it could be, to be honest, because it's an XL and it fits me quite well. Maybe it is, I don't know. Like, it's not a fashion piece, but also like, it's not bad, like walking in the rain, dog walking jacket. Kappa is proper, like, old school, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, I've saved my favorite piece for last. Well, I think it's my favorite piece. Either it's this one or the black sweater. And it is this green Ralph Lauren fleece. This is probably the one that I paid the most money for. Again, from Billy's Retro, I paid 60 pound for this one, but it is mint condition it is so new it came looking like it's never been worn or washed obviously i washed it um and yeah everything about it just seems really new and i love love this style so it's actually a medium which i must have been brave to go for a medium oh no they've marked it as a large tag medium best fits men's large yeah um and it's not as big as my nautica gray one but it still fits really really nice um, and this one has pockets. <laughs> this gives me going out to feed and ride the horses vibes. So Chaps is just like the offshoot of Ralph Lauren that is more like lifestyle and casual wear. And I love this forest green color. 
I think this is going to be really big when it comes to like everyday casual wear this color and um, sort of like sweaters joggers I'd love a pair of dark green joggers that match this jumper that would be really cool but yeah otherwise I would wear it with jeans like over leggings again and definitely like this sort of neck is good for layering when it comes to the winter i'm really pleased i picked it up i think it's especially the color that sold it for me if it was in any other color i don't think i would bother i feel like i do so much casual clothing it's quite a casual little vintage haul wasn't it please leave me a comment and let me know what piece you like best who you follow me on instagram at in future where i post up photos every single day please make sure you like and subscribe i have got some really good <laughs> videos planned coming up um for autumn because fashion is just so good this time of year so yeah i'm really looking forward to putting them up and yeah thank you bye